Isn't it peculiar how human beings go from non-existence to completely helpless babies to then sometimes arrogant adults who deny their creator? Allah tells us he created man from a sperm drop, but then at once, when he gains some strength and independence, he becomes a clear adversary. He becomes a clear opponent to his Lord that created him. But surely that strength and arrogance doesn't last forever. Just like we were weak as babies, if we live long enough, we become weak as elderly adults. Allah tells us, Allah is the one who created you from weakness, then made after weakness, strength, then made after strength, weakness, and white hair. He creates what he wills, and he is the knowing, the competent. How fascinating is the design of the human life cycle? Allah tells us, he who created death and life to test you as to which of you is best indeed, and he is the exalted in might, the forgiving. What a short test the life of this world is, and what a terrible exchange to give up success for all of eternity in the hereafter for this very short worldly life. Allah tells us, and the day the hour appears, the criminals will swear they had remained but an hour. Thus they were deluded. But those who are given knowledge and faith will say, you remain the extent of Allah's decree until the day of resurrection. And this is the day of resurrection, but you did not use to know. So let us take heed while it will still benefit us and let us not be from those who turn away as Allah tells us. And whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed life and we will gather him on the day of resurrection blind. He will say, my Lord, why have you raised me blind while I was once seeing? Allah will say, thus did our signs come to you and you forgot, i.e. disregarded them, and thus will you this day be forgotten. And thus do we recompense he who transgressed and did not believe in the signs of his Lord, and the punishment of the hereafter is more severe and more enduring. May Allah guide us to accept the truth, to live accordingly, and may he give us a good end and grant us the best of the hereafter. Amin.